What's up guys, Aiden here, A's Lawn Landscaping. Welcome back to another video. Today in this video, I'm hanging out at Mulchmate. I'm here with Nick from Mulchmate. Yes, um, what do we got here? Well, again, welcome to Mulchmate. Uh, this is the Mulchmate on the back of the truck here. Uh, it's a, we, The model number is a DS1000. It runs about a yard a minute of mulch through it. You can also run rock, sand, uh, even dirt through it. Can go ahead and take a look? Yeah, take a look. So on the back side here, I guess we'll start here. This is the cool little feature. You have an integrated ladder because when you open up this basket door here, it can get kind of high. And so some guys just can't reach that high. So you can jump up on the ladder, grab your stuff out of the basket, and then also grab the basket door, pull it down. And you also have drop down pull tabs. So these bad boys here will come down and you can snag them and shut your door. That easy. Another uh, cool feature back here, we have an integrated backup camera. Uh, it is infrared, so that really helps when, you, uh, when you're backing up. On this side here, we have our patented dual pivot hinge. This hinge is all steel, uh, quarter inch plate, as well as 5 16 plate, all powder coated. Uh, this allows the machine to swing 270 degrees all the way around to the side of the driver's side of the truck. You uh, connect it up there, and you're able to dump the load if you have something in the back of your truck or load pallets at the end of the day so you can get it back to the shop and keep on working so it does not limit your truck to just mulch. So that's it on this side. Over here, this is the business end. So when you're traveling down the road, you've got this tray here. So when you get to your job site, you just push this tray back and pull the chute up, which it's up right now. Uh, and you can start running material right away. Really cool thing is we use a Indac mower key. So this key is the same mower key that you would use in your lawn tractor. So it's this easy. You stick it in, one green light means the system is, is like on, but not working. Turn the system on, two green lights means the system's ready to go. So now you're basically idling just like a Tesla, right? So you wanna pull material in and load a wheelbarrow. One, two, one. And we just made a mess, but that's okay. That would have loaded your wheelbarrow up and you'd be able to knock out your jobs quicker, faster, and easier without breaking your back. Uh, another cool feature is being that this unit is only 30 inches deep and just mounts to the back of your truck, we can park this unit right into a parking space or drive it along curbs or islands and literally just empty whatever. If you want dirt or mulch, you can run that material right out, right into the bed, rake it out, and you're done. So there's no travel time. You don't have to stop, set up shop, and like with a trailer. Let's say if you had a trailer, you'd have to park it somewhere and set up shop and then run wheelbarrows really, really far, right? With this unit, you can pull right up to where you want to be and just run the system real quick, real easy. So how much does this thing weigh? Uh, it only adds about uh, 600 pounds to the back of your truck because the back doors, when you take them off, you, you take off that weight off the back of your truck, adds on average about 600 pounds. Pretty good. Yeah. I like to... And this is uh, this all right here is how you open it up, right? Yep, yep. So you would just pull this pin out here. I like to just drop it on, on that guy right there. You pull this pin here, and then you would swing the whole unit out. I'm not going to do it because the pins on the other side are locked currently, uh -huh. but that's what you would do. You just grab this handle here, swing it open, and it would swing all the way around 270 degrees. When you go to close it again, when it hits here, it just auto locks. So now it's all locked automatically. So you guys can't screw that up. And you also have another safety pin. This is kind of a cool feature that a lot of people don't realize. We give you this safety pin to put here, but what I like to put here if I was the business owner is a padlock and give that key or the code to your head foreman. So he is in control of who can open this and who can't open it. So that's a nice little feature that a lot of people, they don't think about until they see it and talk to us. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. And then I see you lock, you have locks up here yep. on this side over here and right here for yep. the, this is the, for the tools up top. You can put your tools up there. Let's see here, I can pull the keys out. Pull this bad boy up. So what I like to do, I like to just hook it right there. All gas struts, so it holds uh, holds the door up for you automatically. You can see all my janky tools. <laughs> <laughs> but the cool thing is, uh, you can actually fit three BR600 uh, steel backpack blowers up here. Oh, they wow. Will fit. You lay them down on their on their back and then stretch the hose across. This will hold three of them as well as you can put rakes, pitchforks, whatnot in there as well. With them. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. I mean, because you can uh, put your backpack blowers and a few rakes up there and then you don't even have to 
I mean, you could put them. You could put them in the truck if you had to. If you had to. So the the thing with with this unit and what killed me and my landscape company was, I would have guys go out to jobs and on the way out to get the mulch, they'd put all the tools on the floor of the truck. When they go get the mulch, they'd unload all those tools, put them on the ground. They'll get run over, left behind, whatnot. And then when the mulch gets back in, they'd have to throw all that back up there, tarp it. Sometimes they'd fall out. Unfortunately, this is the way the game goes. But this system. Put them in, you lock them up, and they stay there. So when you get back to your shop, there's no time unloading stuff. They're locked. It's sealed up, good to go. I'm assuming you, uh, is there, could you tow a trailer with this or no? You can. Oh, you yeah. can? Yeah, so I think Reese is the company I looked up. They have a hitch extension you can get for trucks. We are not a hitch company, but you have full access to make there, so you can just put a small two-foot extension. I don't even know if it's two-foot. It might be like 18, 19 inches. Uh -huh. uh, but you can still tow with it if you'd like. It's pretty... It's pretty good. Yeah, not too bad. So another cool little little features that no one knows about. These hinges that we use here, it's a, it's a piano hinge, but they are wider, the uh, the cleats are wider, the material is thicker, and then we also use a stainless steel pin. So that pin will not jam up on you or rust. A lot of times, just dumb things like that will give you a hard time. It's pretty good. I like it a lot. Yeah. All right, so what do we have here? So this is the business end of mulch making. This is where the mulch would enter here. So this top plane here, this is going to be the, the floor of your truck, right? Mm -hmm. And so you would pull your tarp out. It gets wrapped around this pipe here. It actually gets Velcroed on right there. And when you get the tarp pulled all the way out and you put your material on it, this is where it's going to roll up around this pipe. And then you're going to have two augers that are typically here. We don't have them in yet because we're just not done with this particular machine. And that's what the fluffs the material gets you more yield on your material. So for very simple terms, every 10 yards you put down, those augers are gonna give you an extra two yards. So that's a really nice feature. A lot of people yeah. go, well, man, I wanna be able to run 17 yards in my truck. Well, I go, well, look, you can do like 14 because you're gonna get 17 yards with a mulch out of it because of those augers. So that's a really cool feature. They actually spin upward and they actually allow the mulch to fall down, hit this conveyor belt, and this conveyor belt can fill your wheelbarrow under, I think it's like 2.2 seconds. We've got some of the parts laying in here. This, this, is, this conveyor belt, guys, is like really sturdy. There's like no dips in it or anything. You, I mean, you push on it, it's not going anywhere. Yeah. So it's got real, real big cleats in it. Um, another cool feature that you actually you can see right now is we run this massive chain. That chain can hold over 20,000 pounds. Don't let a small machine that doesn't make a lot of noise fool you. This machine is super strong, like crazy strong. We actually used to run a slightly smaller chain. Well, actually, it was only rated at 8,500 pounds and we could literally just snap it. That's how strong this is. And so what happens is this, this tarp system runs your auger system. So those chains go inside of here and that gearbox that goes here and has a shaft come out, that's what gives the augers their power. That's how they turn. Guys, I heard this thing run outside. It's really not that loud at all. You know, it's, I mean, it's just running off batteries, so there's no running engines, so it's its pretty quiet. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot like your Tesla. If you're not running it, it just sits there and idles. Uh -huh. um, another cool little fact that we, we did some testing on, when you have the system just turned on, the lights that power the control panel, it would take seven years to kill the batteries. Oh, wow. That's really nice. Yeah, so. so. It won't kill anything. Those batteries will be lasting for a long time. Can yeah. we go ahead and take a look at this one? Yeah, yeah, let's go take a look. So this is kind of in the earlier stages of, uh, of assembly. Basically what you have here, we call this the belly pan. And we've actually got a bunch of holes in here and they serve as multiple purposes. Uh, a, reduce weight. B, any kind of material that could possibly get in here, this is a great place for you to clean it all out. Um, and that's the same thing underneath this conveyor belt, there's the same thing, so if any mulch sticks to the belt and it comes back through, it should drop through all those little holes in the bottom of the belly band. All right, so at this point, Aiden, what we got here is the conveyor system. It gets bolted directly to the belly pan of the machine. Yep. yep. So this, this, this black section actually acts as the, the core of the machine. It's got all the strength in it. It's actually thicker material. We, um, we actually integrated a you know, fully adjustable self-tensioning system with these springs here. You have about two inches of self-adjusting spring action so as that belt grows over time what's going to end up happening is uh, your belt would get loose and then it would spin and not have traction with those springs what they actually allow you to do and they're on both sides of the, of the system 
as that belt grows, it will continue to catch it and catch it and catch it until once it reaches its max, it's time to replace the belt. Yeah, so this, this part here is almost like a treadmill. It's exactly what it is. Yeah. There's a piece of plastic underneath here. It's what we were talking about earlier. It's called UHMW, uh, Ultra High Molecular Weight Polyethylene. Um, it's, just a, it's just a really dense piece of plastic under here. It actually has a V groove right up. If you can see that in there. See where my fingers yep, are? right down there. Yep. So that V groove is one of the things that keeps this whole system aligned, allowing you not have to not to have constant maintenance on the system. Yeah, so. it's pretty it's pretty cool. It's got this is a electrical box, right? And yep. These are all the wires that would go out to uh, connect to the truck, correct? No, the, actually, these wires here go out. So there's a motor that sits out here, and these are the wires that run the motor system. And it's actually a, a military style. Um, electrical field that they run in there. It's oh, different. that's why. I'm, I'm looking at the machine backwards, yep. that's why. That's okay. Yeah. The the wiring actually plugs in under here, and this this section here is what would go to your truck. I don't know if you can see that right there or not, but it's a big Anderson plug. It's it's mass, It's a massive, massive system, but the wiring for the lighting and the control system would travel all the way around here, and it goes all the way down the side. This whole system. And that's what runs your lights, it runs your backup camera, it runs your tail lights, it runs, this is your control panel here. This would go in that hole there. Yep. And then you have really nice weather pack connectors so everything is sealed off and allows you to run this whole system rain or shine. Pretty nice. Yep. So another cool feature that no one ever gets to see, and this is actually, quite honestly, this is probably the first most in-depth video we've done here with someone else other than us. We we have a racing background, so we like to make things light, strong, and fast. So the holes, that's a, that's a weight-saving situation. And then these big holes here, these big holes up here, and then even little things like cutting out this little bit of space on the belly pan. That's all shaving weight. And this newest machine here, compare this machine to our demo rig outside that is really the prototype for the whole the whole deal which we've been running and running and running i believe this this machine weighs like 200 pounds less than that unit outside so we're always trying to cut weight and making it easier on your trucks nice so here we are at the the backside business end of a machine that has augers in it um this is a um all steel constructed auger one of the cool things that you can't even see, these tines are not welded to the surface of the metal. So what it, what it is, is this shaft actually is one big piece right here. That's an 11 and a half inch piece of cold rolled 3 8 inch steel. And so what that allows is that when this gets uh, pressure put on it, it transfers the pressure through the tube into these paddles acting as an exoskeleton design. So you can make this very light and very strong so it'll last a very, very long time. If this was welded to the surface, they'd more than likely just snap off in yeah. one year. So another cool feature, the paddles. Paddles actually allow the mulch to flip it over because the paddles spin that direction. And they also help inject air into, this, into the mulch, allowing you to get uh, that higher yield we talk about uh, for every 10 yards. As you said year. before, as the paddles spin, it fluffs the mulch, which gets more yield out of it. Yep. Yeah, yep. that's exactly right. So, so this one here is an actually a completed machine. It was... Uh, yep. Had, what, what, what went wrong Cust with it? The customer had run it uh, wrong. They actually put the mulch too high, and then when they ran the system, they refused to run the conveyor belt. They wanted to just run the system and didn't run it the way we told them. What ended up happening is that conveyor is only designed for one wheelbarrow load of mulch at a time, right? And so they didn't clear the belt, wouldn't clear the belt. And what ultimately ended up happening, because I, I was there when they did it, or at least I showed up just after they had done it, they packed this machine full, so like here. They had nine wheelbarrows full of mulch in the system. And it's like, dude, the system, that's not run properly. And so uh, we brought it back. We just fixed it last week, and they're coming back to pick it up, I think, uh, first thing Monday. So, All right. So what do we have here? So this is the, this is the hitch design, right? So uh, some of these guys have state body trucks that don't dump. They have the real flimsy walls you can pull in and out. Well, this is the solution to have a mulch made attached to the back of their truck. Uh, it's real simple. This is where your hitch would normally be. These bolts here, grade eight, uh, half inch bolts, just bolt right onto the truck there. And it's basically, it's a reversed hitch design. So you have this tube that falls inside of this female square tube, two and a half inch, quarter inch wall, really super strong. 
This plate is all half inch hardened steel, all welded together. Um, so once you get your truck, you bolt that on, you put this mulch made center uh, hitch design on your truck, and then you have this upper T section here, and this section here is all welded together. This is what the mulch mate sits on, and you run bolts through here that actually we we use the same bolts that your, your ladder originally attaches to. Mm -hmm. So you can keep your ladder like you always have, but we reutilize those holes to actually mount the entire machine to that. Now the big thing is, is guys love to tow stuff and use their mulch mate. So what we had to do is we integrated these turnbuckles here. This mounts to the bumper. You have another one on the other side over there. And what that allows is that allows you to tow your tow a trailer with your vehicle and your mulch mate. And what it does, the reason you have these outer riggers is that when the truck turns, the trailer is gonna put pressure on it on left to right. And it's gonna wanna basically push this whole system over. And being that it's almost two foot long, it's gonna put pressure in areas that it's not gonna like. And so these chains and, and turnbuckles um, attach the whole system to the rear bumper where it's super, super strong, allowing it to handle any kind of trailer um, pivot, if you will. Um, this vertical chain here, this goes up in this direction and there's another turnbuckle here where my hand is. That attaches it to the bottom of the truck bed or the frame. And that's what allows you to have a massive amount of weight on the tongue or on the trailer side so you can actually hold the weight. So the machine actually utilizes this chain. The machine has two big plates that are mounted to the steel on that one. And then there's these massive turnbuckles that I actually stole the idea kind of off of a, a monster truck. These big, long, four foot long with heim joints in that that bolts to the side of the truck. Mm -hmm. And so that's what allows the whole system to work properly and stay safe going down the highways. Yeah, it's, and what he means by the uh, thin walls is if you've ever seen the landscape trucks that have the, the individual sections that would come out to bring it down to basically a flatbed versus some of the trucks have all hard metal sides. So these are the ones that break down into sections. So this is what this piece of, a, of the pro, pro, product would be used for. Yeah, we, we call it hitch mate, uh, but I don't have any decals on it yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna put some decals on the side here, but I just haven't gotten around to doing it yet. So yeah. that's the deal. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed that footage of me and Mr. Nick over at Mulchmate. I want to give a quick shout out to Nick with Mulchmate. If you guys haven't followed him on Instagram, it's at Mulchmate USA. It was really a great tour and it was really great to meet you. If you guys haven't checked him out, it is a really cool invention and I suggest you check him out. But I really had a good time. Thank you, Nick. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. With that, I'm Aiden from Aislinn Landscaping. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.